Pifantria cunea, also known as the fall webworm, is a problematic species of tiger moth. These moths are able to feed on 600 different species of plants. Over 600, think about that. It's probably the most polyphagous species that I've seen in my life. They are also known as the fall webworm for two reasons. First of all, as you can see, they spin webs. Second of all, they are most abundant in fall or in late summer or fall. So that is why they are called the fall webworm. Why is it a problematic species? Well, because they have escaped in Europe. This moth is native to uh, America only. However, seemingly uh, it has been transported on plants or goods from America and is now breeding in the Balkans and uh, Eastern Europe and I believe maybe also a part of Germany. So they do not live in my country, but because they are so polyphagous and uh, they breed so fast, they can devastate ecosystems. So this is really one, actually, it's a, it's a dangerous species. So if I would release these in the wild, really, I would release an ecological disaster upon my own country. Now, I do not plan to release them. And really, I am very strongly against releasing exotic species. But this is why I'm filming them inside. I'm not taking them outside for a video, because even if I drop this leaf, it will be a disaster. So I have to keep them in quarantine at all times. They're eating Gleditsia, but I'm just giving them random leaves and they're eating everything. I mean, look at this. This was oak leaf and they just skeletonized it. You have one fresh leaf left from the same branch. The rest of the leaf has been skeletonized by them. So that's an interesting habit they have and I'm just gonna find out how many plants I can throw at them. I mean they'll they'll eat about just about anything. I mean here we have look here we have cherry and they're also infesting cherry. That's gonna be one interesting rearing. Here we see some dead adults actually. These are the parents. This species is so easy to raise, raise in captivity. I didn't even bother to remove the dead adults. And Another reason for that is because they left eggs anywhere, even on the dead adults, and I want to make sure they hatched first, so... Thank you for watching. I guess they are so small, it's hard to make a good quality video of them, but they'll grow bigger, and I'll make a better video. So if you stay tuned, I'm gonna keep you up to date on the Hypantria Curia.